Are you like me and you want to use either Viper or Pictomancer to go through all of the new expansions Dawn Trail's story? Are you also wondering how you should get that class to level 90 so that you can actually do that content as quickly as possible? If either of those are true for you, I'm going to be giving you some ideas of how you can get that level and my own personal plan of attack to do that myself. First off, we're going to do the fastest method, which is actually going to be Duty Finder as well as just doing regular dungeons. So the big thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look over here. We're going to do our roulette. So the big two that I recommend most people do every day, just as a baseline, is the leveling roulette and the alliance raid roulette. Alliance raids in particular is really good for DPS rolls. So you'll probably want to be doing that each day that you're playing Viper or Pictomancer if you're not doing it all in one day. And past that, you want to run the highest level dungeon that you can run on repeat until you reach level 90. So it's only 10 levels, shouldn't take a terrible long amount of time. However, something you have to consider is that a lot of people will be playing these two DPS roles, which means queues may be really bad. Because of that, I recommend thinking of doing the duty support feature, which is slower, but does allow you to do it with NPCs, meaning no queue times, no having to worry, a little bit slower leveling process, but if your queue times are abysmal, it's probably gonna be faster. And on top of that, just make sure you always have your food buff active. And if you're in a free company, whether it's yours or someone else's, try to make sure that heat of battle buff is on just so you can maximize those XP gains. Now, the personal method that I'm going to be using is going to be the Zadnor slash Bosja zone. So the Southern Front. In these zones, as a separate piece of content, you can do fates, which in these are called skirmishes, as well as bigger versions of these called critical engagements that give you just a bunch of XP. So this makes it a great grinding area for Viper and Pictomancer to get them ready for Dawn Trail. With this method, you will on average get about one level per hour. Now this does depend on how much you commit to doing all of the stuff within the content in that hour, as well as how active the instance is. For me personally, I recommend trying to travel to Ether to do it. They will usually be a little bit fuller there. However, if your server does have a good enough stock of people, you should be fine. Now I'm gonna go over just how you unlock this zone because there is a little bit of forethought you have to do into actually getting into this content. Starting with a quest line that will lead you into the Stormblood 24 man content. So you'll wanna come over to Kugane and talk to Kaiten here to unlock the quest line that will get you into the 24 man content. Once you're in there, you're gonna wanna go ahead and complete all three 24 man raids that are in this series. Once you do this, you can then go to accept the quest that'll actually get you into Bosha. And this quest is also given by Kaiten back in Kugane, so you'll have to head back to him. Now, once you have that unlocked, you'll wanna come over to teleport and go over to the Far East and the Dome and Enclave. This is actually where you will access that content going forward. Once you're there, you'll want to either walk or Aetherite over to the Fairy Docks. You will get a direct teleport once you get all the Aetherite shards and have this unlocked, but for your first time you may have to do this. And then go to this airship pilot and he can take you over to the area for Basha. And now that you're here, you basically go through and do everything as normal. If you're doing Bosch for the first time, you'll have to go through levels and be progressively further into the content. If you are already at max level like I am, you'll just basically stay in whatever zone you want if you're grinding for weapons or if you're not doing that at all and you're just going for it for XP. I like to stay in zone three for Zadnor and then you just keep rinse and repeating. Eventually, usually within about 10-ish hours, you're gonna be level 90 and then you'll be able to start your Dawn Trail story with Viper or Pictomancer. Editor Griffin here, just wanting to let you guys know that I did forget to mention to get your Wondrous Tales and have it complete, but not turned in before Dawn Trail begins, as that'll give you a full half level, which is a good starting point. But that's gonna be it for me. Thanks you guys for watching this video. If you have any more questions about any of the stuff I mentioned today uh, or anything else, please leave it in the comments down below. I stream live over on twitch.tv slash GriffinStriker, and that is where I'm doing the Road to All 90s. If you want to see Zadnor content, I'm doing a lot of that right now for that leveling. So definitely stop on by, and you guys have a great rest of your days. Bye-bye.